An USB modem is a small external device that allows a computer with a USB port to connect to high-speed 4G wireless networks. 4G networks are high-speed networks normally maintained by cellular service providers to allow cell phone handsets to access the internet. Modems got different models. As you can see, minus HSDPA modem. To use the modem, first insert a SIM card which got data in it. Note, make sure you disable pin lock on the line you intend to use on the modem before inserting it in the modem. Again, uninstall any previously installed modem desktop application to avoid malfunction. Now when everything is ready, connect it to a computer's available USB port. Turn on the computer and plug the modem into an available USB port. If the modem came with a 4G package from a provider, the software is already installed on the device. The device will self-install the needed software on any Windows-based PC. The modem is also compatible with Mac OS X systems and Linux systems. Read the included instructions to determine if a download of additional software is needed for non-Windows systems. In this case I'm using Windows. If the modem does not install automatically, you can manually install it. Open the setup file in Explorer by double tapping it, select English and the rest, just click next next and install it. When done, click on Finish. Now initialization process will start. When it has processed, the modem interface will appear on the screen. This wireless universal 4G internet modem with 7.2 Mbps speed can be used with any data-enabled SIM card, with for example Airtel, Safaricom, Orange etc. There are many many SIM cards that can be used. Note, the modem does not support fiber 4G SIM cards. Also note that, the SIM card in the modem is automatically detected. So, there is no need for you to search for it in the list. Now, to connect on the internet, just click on connect button. After successful authentication, you will see connected on the down bar. Also, on the internet access tray, the icon will change to wireless terminal icon as you can see. Now, to confirm if the speed of modem if really it is 7.2 Mbps, you can open your favorite web browser. In this case I'm using Chrome. Thereafter, type speed test on the search bar and click search. From here, click on run speed test. Now internet speed test page will open and start checking the speed of the modem, both the download speed and the upload speed. Now when it has finished testing, you can see the download speed is 0.92, and the upload speed is 0.30. Yes the internet connection is slow but don't worry, this keeps varying and therefore you can use it to browse and even watch videos on internet. You can try search for anything on internet to see if it's real working that fine. In this case let me search for hello see how long it takes to be processed. I think it pretty working good. Back to the modem interface, there are several features. 
Let me show you some of them. We have statistics, this basically shows the variations of the internet speed that is happening in the current time. Next we have voice, this enables you to dial a number which you want to call. Next we have SMS feature. This enables you to send and receive texts in form of SMS. You can as well see the sent SMS, unsent SMS, and even the draft SMS. Next we have phone book. Just as you expect phone book contains numbers you have saved on your line. Next we got records. Basically this shows the recent call history that took place via the modem. Next we got USSD. This runs USSD codes, for example if you want to check data balance, or you want to see what the SIM card offers, for instance if using orange line, you can dial start 100 hash and send your request. To connect or disconnect the modem, head over to connection, and from here you can either disconnect or connect the modem to internet. On operation, this just shows the tabs we have already discussed in a transpose manner or otherwise list format. When the modem is connected to internet, the blicking speed is faster, showing that it is functional. Thank you for watching. If the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up for the video to reach a wide audience to help others who need it. If you want to continue receiving more content like this in future, ring that notification bell to be notified anytime I post new content. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you have no yet done so, otherwise, have a really nice rest of the week.